So it sounds like with all of those initiatives, some of, them, some of them are benefits, some of them are learning for skill development. In all cases, the people are responding well. They're responding yes. well personally. They're responding well by the returns for the business. Yet and still, I was glad to hear that you said that this is not the human resources department or right. CHRO's responsibility. This is leadership's right. responsibility. So as chairman of, C of Aetna, chairman and CE uh, CEO, how do you still maintain, though? Because there will be people in the crowd, and there are naysayers that out there that would say, that's a good fad. I can see how you did it for a little while. But when the times get tough, right. it's going to be hard to continue to do that. So how will you, in the boardroom in particular, and with your leadership team, continue to prioritize the learning initiatives, the benefits for your people, yeah. so that they continue to stay motivated, that you retain their employment, and then they continue to do what you have said is your belief, which is if you take care of them, then they will take care of the business. How do you maintain that focus with the leadership team? Well, it's, you know, the, the, the so when the leadership team took a little while to bring along, uh, but once we started doing it, they said, what more can we do? And we never have arguments about um, what can we do to support our people inside the organization. As it relates to the board, I've never asked them for permission. I only ask them for forgiveness. Um, <laughs> It's one strategy. Uh, yep, and it works <laughs> as long as you deliver the results, right? And so you have to be passionate about not only the idea but the execution of it. So in the middle of all that minimum wage benefit program, my CHRO started arguing with me that I was giving things away. And she is no longer with us. And I got another CHRO. Um, so, you know, um, I, was, you know I kept going, well, why aren't you pushing me? Why am I pulling you along? Um, the other thing is, is we blew up the spreadsheet. So spreadsheets are the greatest pox upon business. We've destroyed the Japanese economy. We're about to destroy the Chinese economy because of spreadsheets. Because with spreadsheets and auto-calc, you can change the numbers in any field to get the answer you want in the bottom. And then what I have to do as the CEO of the company is find out where people played with the assumptions in the spreadsheet to get the answer they wanted. Instead of spending time talking about the assumptions, laddering the risks behind those assumptions, and changing the conversation to what is not, not what is truth, but what do we need to believe as a team to assume these risks to do these good things and make these investments. And so that's how I approach it with the board. These are great investments. We make mistakes all the time. But if, as long as we continue to be mindful about the investments we make, set, develop a set of beliefs about what we need to do to manage the risks, because any well-laid plan, any great strategy, if you look at any great company, the plan they started with was not the plan that they ended up with that was successful. It was paying attention to the execution as you go along, learning from the marketplace, and shifting your approach until you get it right. And if you have that level of diligence, and I'm an operations person at heart, I was an assembly line worker, I love watching the parts move down the line, as long as I can see the execution happening and we, we reposition as we go along, we're going to be just fine. 